Hey guys, it's Chris here. I just wanted to talk to you guys about why you need to draw every single day. Hopefully, what I have to say next is really going to motivate and inspire you guys to pick up that pencil and really start to see some great progression in your artwork. So it sounds like a really simple concept, right? Drawing art, creating art, making music every day. For some people, it's really, really easy. But for others, it's really not. I remember when I was much younger, I would draw very, very little, uh, if at all. Sometimes I would take month-long breaks without even thinking about it. Um, I would just get into moods where I wouldn't want to draw. And it took me a long time to get into a practice where I was drawing every single day. A lot of people told me, especially artists that I admired, uh, even mentors that I had had, that I need to be focusing on my art every single day, at least for 30 minutes. So it may sound difficult, the idea of drawing every single day. I know a lot of people out there struggle to even get five minutes in their day to do something like this, but honestly, I think it's the most important thing, especially if you want to build a career as an artist, whether you want to work in comics, whether you want to be an animator, whether you just want to be an illustrator, uh, and even if you want to go into a broader spectrum of art, if you're a musician, um, if you like painting, if you like ceramics, if you like sculpting, anything like that, this all applies. Spending just a little bit of time every single day doing the one thing that you love, drawing, is really going to improve your skill as an artist, your abilities. And you may not see it straight away, but you guys will get better over time. When I was thinking about doing this video, I was wondering what I was going to talk about, and I realized that I have so much that I can show you uh, when I was a much younger artist, when I was only drawing every other day, when I was just really not spending a lot of time focusing on my art, not building up my skills, not focusing on learning new things like how to draw hands or how to draw anatomy, how to deal with body poses and dynamic posing. All of these things are so important, and yes, it takes a long time to learn, but when you can just dedicate a small amount of time every single day to doing these things, you guys will progress in leaps and bounds over time. So I want to show you guys a few of the sketchbooks that I have from very early on to uh, present day and show you guys the kind of achievement and growth that I've had doing this art. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be super embarrassing because a lot of the art that I did back in the day is utterly terrible, just utterly terrible, but if I hadn't have done it, I wouldn't be where I am today. So let's check some of that stuff out. Okay, so what you're seeing now is probably the earliest sketchbook that I currently own. Uh, I believe this one was done back in 2002, um, possibly even a little bit earlier, so this spans back at least 15 years ago. It's filled with a lot of art, a lot of it. And at this point, I really was drawing a lot more because I was a young kid. I had a bit more free time to do it. But looking at the art in here, it's just really not up to par. Back then, yeah, I thought I was doing really great. But looking at my art now, it's really advanced. Um, it's gotten so much further. And to be honest, it's really embarrassing to show you guys the art that I've done back then. But if I hadn't have done it, it I wouldn't be where I am now. And I thank... The fact that I started drawing every day, that I spent more time on my art uh, every single day, that I have this growth and that I will continue to grow. And now it's not only a matter of just drawing every day because I have to, it's just become a habit. It's the thing that I want to do every single day. If I am not drawing or at least creating in some form or aspect, um, I really start to get really itchy and paranoid and like I just need to do something. My hands are... My hands just need to pick up a pencil and draw on a piece of paper or something just to just to get rid of that craving. So this is another sketchbook that I've done. Uh, this one's a few years ahead again, and already you can see that progression. You can see some growth in the characters, and you can probably see a much better direction of where my art is going to go uh, in the future uh, to where it is now, but it's still a long way to go. But compared to the last sketchbook we were looking at, the art style has definitely grown. The abilities are much greater. Um, I have a better understanding of human anatomy, I have a better understanding of facial expressions and just how to build the form of characters. Um, and even there's probably a lot of, in here of 
me starting to build environments more and drawing buildings and backgrounds and things. All of these are really important and even just doing them in small batches, just little bits here and there, you're constantly going to be building that knowledge of your art and you will continue to grow. So here we are, this is the most latest sketchbook that I've got and it's obviously apparent that from what we were just looking at a couple of minutes ago to now, the art has just grown in leaps and bounds. It's so much better, there's much fluent lines, uh, I'm very confident with the things that I'm drawing now, um, I'm doing a lot more finished pieces without having to spend so much time uh, building and developing, which I think is such an important thing too, if you are going to do a finished piece, spend more time on it, stop drawing fast and think more about what you're going to be putting down, and the more you do that, especially in things like a sketchbook, you will find that it will become a lot easier in the future. Sure, we all want to be the best we can be now, but looking back at it, I mean, this time has just flown between, you know, the first sketchbook we looked at and now. Um, if I hadn't have done it, I'd probably still be at that point of the first sketchbook where um, I'm probably just subpar, feeling semi-confident or happy with what I'm drawing, and just not growing at all. Whereas now I have the real potential to be getting client work, which I am. I'm making a living doing my artwork, and here I am now helping you guys uh, to grow as well, because I think as artists we should be pushing each other to grow. I see so many artists who are stuck in that one style where they just don't move away from it, and they could grow if they spent more time on their art, and they spent more time studying and trying to understand different elements or trying things that are out of their comfort zone and that's what drawing every day is great for because you can tackle those things uh, and you don't need to be completely invested in the piece that you're working on it can just be a doodle or a sketch something to just get those ideas out and get you comfortable drawing and get you wanting to draw every single day so I hope you guys enjoyed checking out my sketchbooks uh, again it was really embarrassing showing you guys that but I just really needed to get my point across to you to show you that over a long span of time you will grow and you will become better artists and it doesn't matter which artist you talk to every time I confronted an artist at a convention or emailed them and asked them what's your magic trick why are you such a great artist why can't I be a great artist like right now and always they would say just keep drawing keep practicing and getting into that habit of drawing every day is really going to help you grow and do that Doing it every second day, sure that'll help, but if you can get into the habit of doing it every single day for 30 minutes, for an hour, just a small lot of time before you go to bed or when you first wake up, before you go to work, on your lunch break at work or um, on your free period at school, it doesn't matter. Just spend that time drawing. You already enjoy it, so why aren't you doing it? Sure, you could be playing video games or you could be out hanging with your friends, but this is half an hour a day we're talking about. It's not a lot. All you guys need to do is just pick up that sketchbook pick up those pencils and pens and go nuts. All right, that's it from me. I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you guys. I hope it's you know, given you a bit of a push to motivate you guys to draw more. Um, I know there's a few friends out there and a few followers out there who um, they are fantastic artists and they have great potential and I really want to see you guys drawing more and more and see you grow um, and I'll be doing the same thing. I'll be growing with you guys as well. So keep drawing, fill those sketchbooks, you know, build that nice back catalogue of art and let's create some amazing art together, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Leave a comment, guys, if this video helped you out, if it gave you that push that you need to draw every single day. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how you're growing and how your art is getting better. If you're new to the channel and you really like this video too, please hit subscribe because I'll be doing videos like this every single week to help you guys grow, to motivate you, to push you guys to become better artists while I become a better artist myself. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll catch you all next week for another video. Have a great week. Goodbye.